Hi, I want to show you the WordPress Call Tracker plugin. And uh, it's something I created. I've been asked by um, multiple people for something like this. And uh, it probably will continue to grow in features. But right now, uh, what we have is some basic call forwarding and tracking um, functions that you can use with any Twilio account. So those of you that are doing lead generation, tracking calls for clients and that type of thing, uh, that's what this is designed for. And uh, right now I'm just logged in. I have a few. Um, these are all old numbers, just random stuff that um, I, I've cu currently got the date for my reporting back to July, uh, although we're in November right now. Um, and the reason for that is I haven't really had any calls in these recently. But um, anyway, uh, you can see what, what we have here is two columns for one is the total number of calls for that time period, so from July 1st on to current. And then the second column is the number of leads that are gen that were generated, and that's based on the number of when you the difference between a call and a lead is the duration of the call. So um, uh, depending on what you work out with your client, you might say that uh, a call needs to last 120 seconds or 60 seconds or whatever it is. You just enter those seconds into your settings here, and that is the what will tell you if you have a lead or not. So you can see if um, if uh, if these are converting or if there's something wrong with your marketing uh, or otherwise. And then um, and I'll show you a little bit more about how to add. It's real simple. To add a new uh, number uh, for tracking all you have to do is enter uh, the number you want to forward the call to and then you would enter your Twilio SID and then your Twilio token. Uh, let me grab that real quick. And then optionally you can have the call announced so that the person on the other end, your client, when they get the call in they will hear uh, you have a new lead call you know, from so-and-so or whatever uh, from your company. And then you can enter the number of seconds you want <clears throat> to use as your lead qualifier. So then uh, I need to save that, but the last step is actually selecting my Twilio number. So I go down here, I need to select my number, then I want to track, and uh, I'll just pick one randomly. Go ahead and save that. And then uh, we haven't had any calls on that one, so there's nothing showing up there. But um, you can uh, change your date ranges for your reporting. You can select, you know, today, yesterday, this month, last month, that type of thing. And then um, there's some other cool features here. If you drill down into a particular number, uh, what you can do is click on report. So I just want to see the report for this number. And what it's showing is all the calls and leads from the date I'd already picked, which was July. So I probably need to shorten this a bit to make it a little more readable. So let's say I want to just look at July. Okay, so I'm seeing one call, no leads that day. Seven calls, no leads. Uh, eight calls and four leads. And then one call, no leads that day. So uh, a couple of cool things. Um, well. We look at here are the call details for your date range you selected. So these are all the dates and times, followed by the uh, the person that called or the caller ID of the caller, and then the duration of the call. Anything that qualifies as a lead is highlighted here. And then um, something else you can do is if you're getting calls from somebody, uh, maybe you find it's a number that's a telemarketer or whatever, and you just want to um, uh, block that person. All you have to do is click on the block link and this number will now be blocked. So, um, and then of course I can unblock it. You have to refresh the page and you'll, you'll see the changes once you block it. And you can see all my numbers here have been blocked, but I can unblock it. Reload and we'll see the cross the board effect here. Now it'll block that number across all the numbers. Um, on the system. So any incoming call from that number is going to be blocked regardless of what number they're calling. Um, 
Okay, so that, that pretty much uh, covers it. Uh, one last thing I should point out is um, if I go back in to the main report, you want to make sure that uh, for each number, uh, it highlights here, this is the URL you need to set as the voice URL for that Twilio number if you want if you want this system to actually handle the call forwarding. So um, you would just copy that and go into your Twilio phone numbers and click on the number you want to update and then you just paste that number right into here. So you can see I've already done that and uh, once you've done that now when any, anytime someone calls that number it will behave based on what the setting is here which is to forward to um, the client number whatever that is okay so um, I think that covers it thanks for checking it out and I uh, hope you put it to good use